Well, hello everybody, YouTube, what's up? Um, I'm back again. Um, I wanted to tell everybody um, the other day, uh, a couple days ago, I was talking about how I got the name Disco Bob. You know, everybody knows now how I got that name. So um, I wanted to do a little story and tell a little story of how I got started skating, you know, in the first place. And how I got started and um, how I did, how I, how I got started in doing it, you know, a uh, little story, you know, it's, uh, I'll try not to make it too long and, uh, you know, I don't want to bore people, but, you know, I just want to let people know how I got started, you know, and uh, with roller skating. Um, back, I tell you, when, back when, um, I was probably about nine, ten years old. We went to a party, my mom's work party, where she um, she had a work party at, a, at, a, at our local roller rink. I've never been there before, but, you know, I've never even skated before, you know, prior to that. But uh, the story goes is um, when I first, uh, we first went to that work party, um, I put them skates on and I was, um, I told everybody, you know, all my friends and that, I was probably about in a second third grade at the time, which, um, I told everybody I could skate, you know, and, um, and I just said that, you know, <laughs> so when I first put them on, you know, I was like, oh, I was on my butt. I couldn't even hardly stand up on them. I was so scared. You're talking like eight, nine years old or so, but, uh, I couldn't stand up on them. I couldn't move on them, you know, because all we did basically, all we did was a skateboard, all we did. You know, and that's that's all pretty much all I did and ride bikes and skateboard. But I've never actually been on roller skates prior to that. But um, I was <laughs> it was a it was a unique experience <clears throat> being all over the floor and you know, just trying to get up and then you know, me and my sister used to go like um me and my sister and her friends and all that, we would start going to the rink regularly on the weekends. <clears throat> We did that off and on for about two years, and uh, it was pretty fun, you know. And uh, we would go like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights. And uh, every every Monday morning, I'd go to school, and my teacher would always say, you know, Bob, let me guess, you went skating last night because I couldn't even already sit down on the chair. You know, it was funny. My butt would be so sore from hitting the floor so many times, but. Uh, then I quit, you know, I quit going all together, you know, and um, probably about, you're talking back when 1980, 81, when, when, I, when I went, did go, but um, this was like uh, 1986 or something, 85 or 86, I went one night after, one night with a couple friends of mine and uh, went one time. You know, I got I got pretty good, you know, but um, January 27th of 1989 is when I came back. And um, I went back because I wanted to meet people, you know, different people and wanted to go meet girls and stuff like that. You know how you are when you're a teenager, you know, you want to go meet girls and stuff like that, you know. I was probably, well, I was an older teenager, you know, I was probably 18 years old at the time. You know, you're talking 89. So, um, I started going. You're talking about January 27th, 1989. I remember that date. It's crazy that you remember dates like that, but I do. So, I started going, and I started getting a little bit better, you know. Uh, I didn't know how to go backwards, but there's some things I didn't know how to learn. Did, did know how to do, and I started going um, every weekend, and uh, <clears throat> I started going there up to the rink closed in 2001 is when it closed, and then I started going back and forth from there to uh, St. Clairsville, the rink, that's where I have my name, got my name Disco Ball, but I started going there off and on, off and on, and then um I got to the point where I started getting good. I started doing stunts, you know. I started doing my own, um, my own stuff, you know, and um, learning different jumps. And I was I was nuts back then. 
with all the jumps and the turns and all that stuff. But it wasn't until probably I started driving back in 93, I started driving and we started going all different kinds of rinks, you know. We, I would go all over the state of Ohio, all over West Virginia and Pennsylvania, you know, just to go skating. And I did that, you know, all that time. And um, we did that. And then I would go to, um, I would start going to some of my rinks that were local. But like I said, they all closed, like the one on the island, Wheeling Island closed. And then the one on, in St. Clairsville closed in 2005. And then... Um, then the one in Moundsville is still open, and um, I go there. I, I haven't been there for a while, but um, one of my videos has got that gray floor. That was one of the rinks I go, and in Washington, I go up there too, and it's got the blue floor on it. But um, like I said, I go every weekend. You know, I pick a spot, but I like I said, I started going to all these rinks, and, um, and it wasn't until uh, you're talking like 2009, when my stepfather passed away in 2009, we started going up. A friend of mine works at a, worked at a H and R Block, and he used to run the rink on the island. So um, we used to go. He asked me one time um, if I wanted to go skating over the weekend. Go up to a rink on um, Neville Island up near Coriopolis, Pennsylvania, and I said yes, yes, say yes, yes, no problem with that. I'll go up with you guys. So I went up with them, and um, I started going to that rink regularly. You know, I liked it. And from there, I started really getting into the jam skating type of skating that I'm getting into now, that I do now. I started slowly getting into stuff, but it was kind of rough, you know, at first. In 2010, 11, and 12, when they would clear the floor, you know, on a Sunday afternoon and let me do an exhibition in front of all the people. And the people loved it, you know, back then. And then when I did that, I left there and then I went to... Um, now I used to go there, and then I started going to multiple rinks again. And now here I am, I still do it. You know, I'm going all over the place. But um, it wasn't until 2015, or, or 2016, I started going to one in Washington. And um, the owner's son, he's a hip-hop dancer, and he was only 13 at the time. He was a DJ there, so... Um, I adopted the name Disco Bob again. I started, he called, started calling me Disco Bob and announcing me again like it was back in the old days. And I, I never lost that, that name. I always kept it. But um, it was funny. But we'd go up there all the time and he'd cheer me on and say, that guy's pretty cool, you know, you ought to see him skate. And it kind of inspired me to go out there and start dance skating. You know, and that's what I wanted to do. You know, my dance skating and really, really get into it. And it wasn't until... Probably last year I started really smoothing my dancing out. All the, all the culminations that I do when I skate and when I dance was calm, was things that I did individually when I skated, you know, when I skate now. We know that I smoothed everything out into a dance. And basically what you do is you everything that you learn, I learned over the years, like the splits and all that, you can really smooth things out and turn into dances you know, together, put everything together and you get a good groove, you know, it's fantastic, you know, and I feel like I'm getting better and better and better as time goes, you know, and I will be, and I'll get nothing but better and smoother, but, um, and it's been all these years, I mean, I've been skating since 1989, never stopped, but, um, uh, I wanted to share with everybody that how I got started and everything, you know, and I'm very proud of it. I take pride in it, you know, in my skating, and everybody knows that. You know, a lot of people might get tired of me he's saying it day after day, you know, and stuff like that, but it's something that I love to do. And um, but that's how I got started, and here I am today. I'm 47 years of age, and I'm still doing it, you know, and I'll never stop. I'll never stop doing it. I'll keep on doing it. You know, you guys are wonderful, you know, watching, you know, checking out my videos and stuff, but, um, like I said, um, stay tuned on that show, um, stay tuned to America's Got Talent, because I'm going to be on one of them episodes, so, you guys just hang loose and, um, kind of check it out, you know, and, uh, hang, you know, it'll be there, I'll be on there, so, um, uh, just check me out, uh, another thing, you know, 
my subscriber is subscribers has been going up and down you know it's kind of frustrating you know it goes up like this morning it was oh it was 351 now it's down to 347 and I just don't understand why it just goes up and down like that you know it just it's frustrating to me because I'm trying to get it built up and then you look and it's back down again and it's just and I have one of my subscribers say it went down uh, it keeps rejecting my subscription and you know, he apologized for it and everything it wasn't his fault you know but I just don't understand like sometimes I went and get some and then I don't have any you know I got like dropped four of them this morning so it's frustrating you know when you're building it up but um that was a story I wanted to let everybody know about how I got how I started roller skating so um and how I developed a passion for what I do you know and um and it was it's been a roller coaster ride but um I'll never trade that feeling for anything in the world. So um, I wanted to let everybody know. So you guys all have a good evening. And um, we'll see you guys next time. And I'll have another video for you guys. So um, you guys have a good evening. Say long.